Hi, everyone. This is Jim Carroll together with Eric Rattay in our Acumatica Day in the Life series. And today we're going to focus on purchasing and the buyer planner activities. Now, regarding Acumatica in general, we like to stress three things that are integrated throughout all of Acumatica. One, that it's millennial friendly and feature rich. Two, that in all instances and aspects of the system, you've got all these automation features that in the end result in like having a 24 by 7 employee behind the scenes doing tasks that make all other users more productive. And finally, that Acumatica takes full advantage of the Internet of Things that it has artificial intelligence and business intelligence that, again, with the integration to the Internet and with our fantastic reporting, make the user's life more productive. So now let's go to purchasing. And with Acumatica, in a day in the life, typically that will start off with a dashboard. And in today's example, we're going to start off with a buyer planner, and we appreciate in some firms those are two separate activities. Today we're going to kind of make believe or have the scenario where the buyer and the planner are performing uh, the same role. And what is required in the top left is, is that we have to go make some purchases. And so we have purchase suggestions. Now we spoke to the fact that Acumatica is feature rich. So with Acumatica, we allow you to have uh, five things built into the, uh, to the system, um, which allow you to build a model or a mathematical model to assist the buyer planner. And so those if I may, things in, Jim, yeah, sure. Jim, if I may, yeah. um, when, when a, a purchase ma purchasing manager uh, is looking at the dashboard, then he can click and see all the items that the system is suggesting to, uh, to replenish. In that case, I've got three items into a couple of different warehouses, and I've got some quantities here that I need to order. And these quantities are, like you're saying, calculating from the parameters that we put in place or can be automatically calculated, automatically calculated by the system. And so coming back to the feature rich, richness of Acumatica, um, these are the things that the system can calculate for you in order you to minimize the back orders. Um, I see. So in other words, we were the suggestion was to us to go purchase seven thousand of widget one and another four or five thousand of Coca Cola. So the question is, where does that quantity level come from? Exactly. And thank you. Okay. And what we're saying is Within Acumatica, you can build a mathematical model that makes that purchase suggestion. And the parameters associated with the calculation of that suggested purchase value include things like preferred stock levels. And that is assisted by the fact that the system, with its artificial intelligence, can take a look at historical demand and make a suggestion about what those stock levels should be. In addition, we know we input what the vendor lead times are, and that's, of course, taken from the vendor promise or what the historical uh, is in terms of their delivery times. We also factor in safety stock. So at any given time, say Coca-Cola, I always want to have 100 cases on hand. And then finally, I've got item reorder points, again, to Coca-Cola. Maybe I always want 100 on hand, but I make volume purchases in terms of 500 because I get a quantity discount. So given these mathematical parameters, I go forward. And Eric, you were saying? Yes, I was saying uh, that um, when you say build a mathematical formula, actually the system already takes care of that. It's already built in the system, so you don't have nothing to uh, really to, to, to build as a formula. Acumatica has the possibility of looking at the real average lead time that actually the vendor took, uh, regardless of the promise that they, they will make. Um, in order to calculate the right safety stock and reorder point. Um, so 
so that you don't have uh, you, you don't have any uh, back orders. So great point, great point. So in other words, the model itself is already provided in the structure of Acumatica. Correct. Okay. All right. So let's go back to our buyer planner and and take a look at today's task and take it from there. So first first thing first, um, the replenishment parameters like the safety stock and reorder points, some will be outdated. So typically what we tell the system to do is um, look every, for example, recalculate every month or every day or every three months and look in the past history and make suggestion um, according to the, of the uh, new parameters that I should put. And so this is a list of uh, outdated um, replenishment parameters that should be recalculated. And uh, I can put that into my dashboard. I can uh, come here and uh, select some of these and process them so the system will calculate, look at the, the demand and recalculate the safety stock and also the reorder point. Um, but like Jim mentioned uh, at the presentation of the tree mantra that Acumatica has, uh, every processing screen like this can be scheduled so that instead of me going and, and um, here at the screen and process them all, I can put that into a schedule so benefits from the 24-7 new employee that will make my life easier. So I can schedule that like every day of the week and I won't have to uh, come here anymore so my dashboard should always be empty so like if I would have been have done this uh, task manually but the system will do it for me actually and it will not calculate everything every time it, it will only calculate the parameters based on the schedule that I put um, so if I want to look at the refreshes the, the parameters every month, let's say, then only the items that have not been refreshed will appear on that list and will be executed. So, so as an example, my historical based sales demand and my vendor lead times may be updated by a result of this process that goes on on a daily basis. So updates it. So I always working with the latest updated data. Is that the point, Eric? Correct. Fantastic. Fantastic. And that could be ref refresh automatically so that I don't have to, uh, to come here at all. So once the, my new parameters, um, and first of all, it will calculate the new suggested parameters, um, but I can apply only the ones that I want, and I can uh, change that manually if need be. So if I uh, I know that I will have a promotion uh, next uh, couple of days or next week, then I can increase a little bit my order points so it will make more sense to buy more for a couple of months to come. Um, so I can do that manually if I want. So it's not because something, something has been suggested that it will be automatically applied. I could apply automatically for certain items, but for other items I can um, just tweak the numbers manually based on the suggestion that the system gave gave to me. Fantastic. So I can always, if you will, put a purchase order on administrative hold or some type of hold to approve it before it goes out. Correct. Got it. So once uh, my, my replenishment parameters are uh, calculated and I review them and I accepted them, apply them, uh, then the next the next thing, the system will calculate for me the purchase suggestion. So coming back to that list, I've got here all the uh, the suggestion that the system uh, made to me. So of course, I could um, go into the item itself to see the uh, the item. I can also see the quantity that needs to be ordered, the quantity available uh, that will take into account my uh, shipments, um, my my sales orders that are presently in the system, my quantity on purchase orders, safety stock reorder point, and so on. And of course, I could configure that list to include additional columns should I want it to, or I can also have um, directly from here uh, the different uh, screens that can open, such as the stock item as an example. 
So instead of opening in a new screen, I can uh, simply click once here, and I've got my full uh, display of my, my item configuration. So if I want to go to parameters, I can come here and see my parameters. I could have also include um, like the allocation details on, as a side panel, or I can access it here directly so I can see the detail of the transactions that are um, that are coming in the, the upcoming days or months. Fantastic. So that side panel really provides a, a one screen view to the buyer planner again with the idea of making their day in the life more efficient in terms of productivity. And like in addition to that, if I want to prepare the replenishment, so I can simply type on the search at the top and I can search for any screen, any L topic talking about replenishment. Um, and in that case, I will prepare my replenishment. I can have a product manager or not, select to warehouse. and process them all. Again, this is a, a, a processing screen, so it means I can add that to a schedule, so my pre preparation of, uh, of replenishment can be uh, done automatically for me. Now, Eric, if I wanted to, lots of times companies will have purchase orders, say over $5,000 or $10,000, require approval of a senior manager because you're committing the cash uh, or uh, you're committing to pay for the item. So is there an approval process associated with the purchase order itself? Of course. Um, so multiple screens in can, uh, can have an approval ma matrix associated with it, uh, including the purchase order. So if I would go and create a purchase order manually, because it can be created automatically with the screens that we just saw, but we can also uh, create a purchase order manually that will um, so regardless if the purchase order has been created manually or by the system, if it needs an approval, then it will go to the approval matrix. It will apply the approval matrix, and you will uh, need to approve um, the purchase order. So here, <clears throat> selecting the vendor, then this screen is very useful because it gives you all the information that you need in order to, again, to place an order. So if I want to have 200 of these, and then I can also um, sort ascending, so I have the, the item that, that <clears throat> I have less stock. Oh, I see, so I'm out of stock. I know exactly what I'm out of stock on. Got it. Exactly. Nice. So okay. then I can add these items. And you will see that as soon as I uh, submit this purchase order, it will be pending approval because now the amount is higher than a certain amount, so that uh, threshold, so that it, it requires an approval. It may require and the approval, and the approval will go out to a, on a notification to the senior manager, and he or she will be able to approve it either within a screen in Acumatica. Or as an example, they'll get an email notification or a notification on their smartphone and with an easy point and click to approve that. Is that correct? Correct, because Acumatic App also provides a mobile app that is available for iOS and Android. So if uh, you receive a notification on email on your phone, uh, from a click of a button, you can uh, review this uh, purchase order and approve it really easily from the mobile device. Fantastic. Okay, so do me a favor, please, and go back to the uh, the overall dashboard that we started with. Just just before um, yeah, just before leaving this screen, I can yeah. also tell you that there there can be multiple approvers. Um, so you can have like an approver needs one approver when it's over five thousand dollars, but two approver uh, if it um, it's uh, above another level. Uh, so it can require multiple approvers. It can also require different approvers depending on the projects um, because Acumatica 
there is a connection between project accounting and purchasing. Great so, point. so you can have the project manager uh, approving a part of the purchase order, um, and um, you can also, uh, if I'm sending once it's approved, then I can send it by email to the the the, the vendor. So email the purchase order, and again, this task is also included into a processing screen, so I can avoid having to do that manually every time. So when it's approved, it can get emailed automatically for you. Um, and on the reporting side, you can uh, print uh, a purchase order, and you can also send it by email. And you will see that when I, I will click on send by email, all the reports can be modified, of course. That comes with the, the system. There are about uh, 600 reports, and you can modify them all. You will see that when I'm sending uh, a document by email, there is a little text that is already there. And the text is, um, there are some placeholders for fields. Um, so instead of saying, dear vendor, you can uh, tell, dear Mr. Smith, as an example. And when I will save it, this email, if I go back to my purchase order, you can now see that there is one activity attached. Um, and so if the vendor is, ans is replying to that email, this reply will also be kept as an activity, uh, an incoming activity from the vendor, so the, the buyer can be notified that there is a new, that the, the, the the vendor That's fantastic. replied to that purchase order. So in other words, in the Internet of Things, now I've integrated my Outlook or my email server with Acumatica to keep a history of the correspondence that I have with the vendor in terms of the purchase order that was automatically issued to them via email after the approval process. Correct. Fantastic. Okay, so if we go back to the main screen, our goal here today was to indicate how Acumatica helps the buyer planner know what it is that has to be purchased, uh, know what must be, uh, what the parameters are associated with the purchase in terms of what the stocking levels are and the pricing levels and all the various data that is provided. Uh, the ability to have automatic approvals uh, on the PO uh, by the type, by the product, whether it's in a project or with the dollar amount. And then once we've gone through those processes that are, again, all augmented with scheduling and automation steps within the Acumatica workflow, that the uh, orders get sent out or disseminated to the vendors, and then we're in turn tracking the vendors and their ability to provide the material back in a timely fashion that's required. Or, and then that actual time to deliver goes back into the original structure in terms of what the vendor performance and lead time is that goes back into the logic that lets me know what I need to buy and when in the first place, kind of closing the loop. Yes, and just to add to this, um, the system also includes the possibility of taking into account the seasonality. So if you sell things um, in winter but uh, other items in the, in the summer, so then the system can take into account um, the low season or the high season of, uh, uh, for the purchasing, uh, planning, and also replenishment. Um, and also there are some other replenishment methods that we didn't uh, uh, tell you about in this uh, presentation, but we'll, maybe it will be part of another one where um, you can drop ship items, you can have blanket orders, management. You can also have like special orders where you buy um, specifically for sales order. And you can also transfer stock uh, from one warehouse to another automatically. Uh, when you need, um, if, if you're having a centralized uh, distribution center. All good points, and then we'll end on this. I noticed that the red tile on the top says overdue receipts. 
So if you click on that, my under, uh, my guess is is that these are situations where the vendor is being late and the system informs you of that. So on a day in the life of a buyer planner, he or she could come into the work in the morning and know immediately uh, a situation that might be require some expediting. Is that correct? Not, yes. Not only that, but you can also notify automatically the vendor that is going to be late uh, in a day from now if you didn't receive any confirmation from uh, from him. Um, so there is a, a business event, what we call business events, which are uh, rules that you set into the system um, that will trigger notifications uh, internally or externally, uh, so just so that you do, you are um, on top of uh, of everything. Eric, thank you very very much and. Uh, viewing public, thank you for uh, uh, participating in this day in the life on Acumatica and its buyer planner and replenishment capabilities. More to come. Thank you again. Thank you.